A summary of the results taken from the Slovakian government report are as follows. 1. Saab offered three options, purchasing, rental, or leasing. Should Slovakia pick the JAWS 39 CD Gripa, they prefer doing a purchase as they find it the most advantageous. Saab offered payment to spread over 10 years, will include a flight simulator, and delivery can be made around 20 months from contract signing. 2. Lockheed Martin only offered purchasing, since leasing and rental is not allowed by the U.S. legislation. Payment for aircraft and training can be spread over 5 to 7 years, while the AIM-9X Sidewinder's payment can be spread over 12 years. Flight Simulator is also included. Delivery may go around 4 to 5 years after contract signing. MD Note, Slovakia's deal included ammunition, which the PAF separated from the MRF project. 3. Should there be a need to acquire used F-16s for training and to fill in the gap, the U.S. government has offered to sell 14 used F-16s, around 20 to 30-year-old models, for 214 million euros and will take around two years to refurbish and upgrade. No mention was made if the cost includes the upgrade, although it is safe to assume that refurbishing them is included in the cost. The JAWS 39CD Gripen was found to be less capable in carrying load and equipment, lower fuel capacity, lower tactical range, lower endurance, lower climbing ability, and significantly lower acceleration, compared to the F-16 BLK 7070 seconds. The Gripen was also found to be using older generation of avionics like radar, non-ESA, early warning and protection systems, etc., which doesn't meet current and future air operation requirements of the Slovakian Air Force. The Gripen was found to not have significant improvement over the older MiG-29, despite being a new aircraft. MD, note. JAWS 39CD uses Volvo RM12 afterburning turbofan, which is a Swedish version of the GEF 404 engine used by the PAFS FA-50. F-16 BLK 7070 seconds uses subsystems that are used by fifth-generation fighters, has higher payload, more choices of munitions to be carried, higher fuel capacity, tactical range, endurance, acceleration, uses advanced avionics, ESA radar, etc., and targeting, weapons, and imaging systems. F-16 also includes Auto GCAS, which is an advanced safety feature not found on Gripen. F-16 acquisition is significant step compared to Gripen. MD, note. The F-16 BLK 7070 seconds uses either the Pratt & Whitney F-100 PW-229 BLK-70 or the GEF-110 GE-129 BLK-72, both of which are more powerful than the Volvo RM-12 or the GEF-404. Training for Gripen will be in Sweden and will take 6 to 8 months. But tactical usage training on use of Link 16 and Anok 28 Lightning 3 targeting pods is not included. Air-to-air -air refueling training is not included. Limited training on air-to-air -air warfare and no training on air-to-ground warfare. NATO Stanag 6001 Level 3 English language is required. Training for F-16 will be in US and will take 3 to 4 years. Training will be for all air operations including aerial refueling. English language training will be included should pilot candidate fail to meet English language requirements ECL 85. Logistics support for Gripen is calculated based on 12 JAWS 39C and 2 JAWS 39D, operated from one base, with total operating hours of 2,100 flight hours per year. Delivery of spare parts is guaranteed by Swedish side for 10 years. Spare parts of aircraft is also insured. Spare parts for other equipment for ground operations, avionics and ammunition is not included and require separate contracts with suppliers.
Logistics support for Viper is calculated based on 12 F-16C and 2 F-16D, operated from one base, with total operating hours of 2,520 flight hours per year. Spare parts and supplies included for two years of operation of aircraft. After two years, new contracts for spare parts supply is necessary. Spare parts included in contract will be delveered no later than six months before the first aircraft. Spare parts for other equipment for ground operations, of avionics and ammunition, does not require third party. Two years logistic support starts from receipt of every individual aircraft. New contract for supply of spare parts is necessary after two years. Analysis of necessary infrastructure is based on recommendation of American and Swedish side and are necessary to implement to ensure effective operation of new technology and the required level. It was found that Slovakian infrastructure to support new aircraft does not meet requirement and found to be of low level. This may result in lower lifespan of aircraft and avionics. Failure to implement the recommended changes by the operator will most likely cause innumerable restrictions and will not secure compliance warranty.